Good morning, rise and shine, rise sunrisers. And shine. Yeah. Who, who's that? Listen, listen, listen. Go on, fix up. Go on, warm up and fix up. Well, it's Tuesday, <laughs> and you know the drill. We're going to choose to smile, we're going to choose to love, and choose to be you. And I'd like to welcome. You fix up now? Finish, finish. finish. No, I've been fixed. Been fixed. Uh oh, I've born been fixed. fixed. I was born fixed, ladies and gentlemen. Well, please then welcome to the set, to the show, my very special, splendiferous, mendacious, authentacious. Right, I don't know if any of those things have, you know, <laughs> any <laughs> significance to this, but this is my very special guest co-host who has chosen to be nothing but himself, none other than Miss Pearly Grandson. One Miss hey. Pearly Grandson in the building representing for the people. Thank you for having Which me. Which people you're representing Looking for? Go, no, me are the people ambassador, you don't know that. Okay. Yes, man. I am by the people for the people. I'm All not right. one who came up the ranks by being recognized for what it is that I'm able to do or not do. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody just is some value in a man just hit the follow button. And then share it, and another person hit the follow button, and then share it, and another person hit. You see where I go with this? So, <laughs> and because of that, I know I'm, um, you know, Spurly Grandson. You know what? I love your moniker. I think your moniker is so cool because it's such an honor to your grandmother. Fun fact. Yeah, tell Started me. out as Dr. Drew. No. Uh, hold on. Do you have a doctorate? I don't. Just kidding. <laughs> Started out as Dr. Drew. Uh -huh. No. And then we recognize that when people are like comment and stuff, they're actually saying, Doc, somebody say, no, this is not safe. Uh, right. This is very risky. Yeah. No, I am pursuing a doctorate. Okay, okay. But at 40 something, Yendi, um, we, we know what a, so it's touch and go. <laughs> Whether we finish or not. <laughs> <laughs> We're not sure because it's not mandatory, you see. Right, you know, right, you're, right. You're, you're doing it by choice. Right. And it takes a lot of discipline to do things by choice. And me, if I tell you, yes. especially after you've already been married and you have children and then, yeah, which both are true for you. Absolutely. So, <laughs> Absolutely. Find the time to write that dissertation. Bless your heart. <sighs> Wish me well. Wish me well. You look nice. Well, thank you. You look, you look well put you. together. I, I, I try. Actually, I didn't try. It was Jane. It's all <laughs> Jane Michelle. <laughs> Can't take any credit. I think, um, if I'm not mistaken, I think my outfit today is from Fabulous Trends, J.A. Awesomeness. Yeah, Jane does the thing. She does her awesome, thing. Awesome, awesomeness. Actually, I mean, speaking of doing things. Where I grew up. On a notice, are these things been going down? Um, we have rats. Well, they couldn't go through the arm. Um, <laughs> they couldn't go through the arm. Um, <laughs> The glass bottle, so. But I noticed, Andrew, so. that you came yesterday, and today it's down. No, I'm what you want to tell I me? I don't do sugar very early in. This is not me. No, but you are I here till late. I am more likely to be leaning towards anything that's been cooked in a pot in the early morning. I'm not likely to lean towards cereal, so. By the way, is that pot bubbling? No, it, absolutely. Oh, bubble what's going like on today? Soup, bubble, bubble, like. Hey. And you like a, you see like a X to the five with a driving a Sony. Is that bag of things that go on? It's cereal, mm -hmm. it's pot bubbling, it's a little ackee waiting in the wings. Is that Who bag said of that? things that go on? Wait, no? Is um, there something I don't know? Hold on. All right, so in the pot, uh -huh. we have pasta. How do you say that in, is it French? Is Actually, it do you know why we have pasta in the pot? I know Guess what today is? Today is actually, Pasta day. Today's pasta day. It is International Pasta Day. Today's pasta day. So we are cooking a bit of pasta. And we are going to be having that with a bit of a Jamaican twist. No. Yes, we are. I don't yes, think we so. Are. Yes, we are. <laughs> and um, I'm pretty sure that you will enjoy, you will enjoy preparing this dish. I'm glad. I like what you put it on me. What are you trying to tell us, Andrew? <laughs> It's the, you're not the chef? Listen, um, a man can't do everything, okay? No, I'm no, actually very sure that. about that. Try do. having these children. Right. <laughs> Speaking of having children and what women are powerful and skilled at, let me tell you what our international women's quote of the day is. So the quote today is, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Love that one. That's from Eleanor Roosevelt. Really, really nice one. Absolutely. You know what else is today? 
today, so we mentioned that it's pasta day. Right. Do you know the origins of pasta? I don't know the, well, I know it's, um, no, I don't know the origins of pasta. Guess what? Sorry. I don't know either. <laughs> I don't know the origins No, but archaeologists do believe that Central Asia is most likely the first area to have produced noodles thousands year, of years ago, which makes sense if you think about it. Um, and then it traveled westward, uh, and I believe it um, <clears throat> became very popular in Europe. I actually, did you see that there was a viral moment the other day where I saw this on Twitter, where someone was saying how Jamaicans can't tell her or show her how to make mac and cheese because we don't make mac and cheese well. Anybody saw that? Nobody? Anybody? I didn't see it, but I'm not utterly surprised by it. But I also feel like I don't know if America can claim mac and cheese because pasta and pasta is not American. It so I don't truly know why she, 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 said, she said America has the best mac and cheese. I don't know if she can claim that. Well, unlikely that I've come in America's defense. <laughs> But when I, when I met mac and cheese proper, I'm going to say it like that, I was utterly shocked. And where did you meet mac and cheese proper? America. Mercy said no. You go, you go Europe? I have. Where in Europe have you been? I've been. Hold on. Let's see if this qualifies as Europe. Um, England? Man, what birthdays Scotland. we got today? Because you know we're not going to talk about cuisine and bring up England. Come well, on. true, Come on. true. Well, I haven't been to Italy, Yendi. I have not, but and, and probably when I when I get there, I'll probably have a better comparative analysis. However, it's not the throw out of the box and it's dust not, the cheese yeah. over it like we do out here. But also, if I'm not mistaken, I believe mac and cheese has a history in France, not Italy. And ah. Alfredo doesn't exist in Italy. Ah. If you want to know real good pasta, is Europe you need to go. Interesting. Promise you on that. Interesting. Yeah. You know what else is today? Tell us. It's Unique Names Day. Unique names like Andrew, or maybe uh, not, <laughs> or maybe who, not. Who's going to tell him? Unique names like DeAndrew, <laughs> Cleandrew, <laughs> Leandrew, what? No Andrew, or, or unique names like Yendi. Uh, well then, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> tell us about it. It's actually, it's a city, it's a town in northern Ghana. Okay. So it is an African name. And Yendi actually means, if I'm not mistaken, beautiful morning flower. Can you have a more fitting name for a human? Honestly, honestly, stop this. It also, oh, oh, there's more there. Young, easygoing, neat, intuitive. What are, is, are you any or all of those things? What does, what does our crew think? Am I any of those things? Yeah, oh, oh, we get a big forward. I'm all of the above. I'm actually very easygoing. <laughs> Probably too you, you easygoing. Say? I am, and I am neat. And I'm very intuitive. We have a spirit not take you, Andrew, a problems. <laughs> problems. You know, actually, someone else in here has a very unique name. Tell us. Sila. Sila yes. is on our team. And it's actually one of my favorite references that we find in the Bible. I love that every time in Psalms, particularly, when it's time for us to pause and reflect, the word says Sila. No, but do you actually observe it? I, act, I always do. As That's a, nice. a fun fact. On my Instagram page, wherever I post a white tile and I share something um, that makes you food for thought, it gives yeah. food for thought, and I type out my thoughts, my feelings, or anything below it, I always finish it off with Sila yeah, for years. A lot of these things, yeah. I believe, are done for um, fun or to be unique or to be trendy or to be special. Um, so... Most people don't observe Sila. I know that when I used to read the Bible for my grandmother, you know, Sila was basically a thing that was just a word that was there. When I learned that it meant pause, I still did not pause because that would have taken too, too much time for me to read the Bible. Oh, no, no, yeah, no. Yeah, that's no, sad, no, isn't no. it? We have to pause. Yeah, we do. We have to pause. We do. Life we is too afterwards. much on the go, on the go. We, we learn have to afterwards. sometimes be still and pause. We learn afterwards. What birthdays we got today? So happy birthday, <laughs> Nicanor, yes, Sutherland, to my heartbeat, wishing you a wonderful day coming from Grandma, Uncle Samuel, Auntie Sharon, and your dad. It's a CVM birthday special, so many of our wonderful colleagues are celebrating today. First up. Warren Franklin, yes. studio technician. Happy Warren birthday, celebrates Warren. 
Today, Warren has been such an integral part of the CVM team, and we want to say a uh, very special birthday to Warren. Uh, watch clean and dapper. You yes, see, you see the yes, dapper while yes, I go. Yes, ah, yes, ah, yes, 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 yes. Birthday blessings, Warren. Also, Deborah Shaw is repping cakes and candles today. Miss Deborah Shaw, our beautiful effervescent business manager, who turned 16 today. <laughs> Happy birthday, Debs. The CVM family loves you so, so very much. And then there's Abigail Jackson. Oh, no, no, no. AKA, oh, you have, this one needs commotion. Spe oh, special. We need commotion. Special. We need some commotion. Excitement. Woo! Because this is our very own. Listen. Abby, or Bobby Gale, Listen. or Mission Impossible, or Alien Abs, or as I like to call her, my Abba Dabba Happy birthday, Abby. She is our favorite girl. She's a gifted and free-spirited light that brightens our hallways here at the CVM studios. She's such a lovely treat, honestly. To know Abby is to love her. Happy birthday, Abby. That's the sweet. entire CVM crew wishes you a wonderful birthday. We love you. You're just nice, bad. We're going to keep you. You can't go nowhere because me says so. <laughs> we actually do have a tribute video for Abby, so take a look at this. Sweet. You'll be like heaven to touch. I want to hold you so much. At long last, love has arrived. And I thank God I'm alive. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. Pardon the way that I stare. There's nothing else to compare. The sight of you leaves me weak. There are no words left to speak. But if you feel like I feel, please let me know that it's real. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. Mission Impossible. <laughs> I saw the Mission Impossible. Hey, so you when really you know? have an Abby in your life, <laughs> when you have an Abby in your life, and that Abby is in charge of mixed, uh -huh. do you know what you get? Of course, an I know what we Abby get. Mix on Abby's birthday, run it selector. 